Hello everyone. Welcome to lecture 8 on Scratch Game Development. So today uh, we will have our first game. You can see um, our game is going to be a simple guess my number game. So I believe that from lecture 1 to 7 you have ideas about basics, block programming, and also you know um, how to get your sprites how can you modify your sprites um, later on um, I'll show you how can you modify your sprites to do certain jobs but uh, for now um, let's see how <coughs> this game is going to work alright so a simple case my number game so let's change the name. Just my name. So initially let's delete the cat. Let's get a new sprite. So remember we can choose a sprite by choosing a category. So if you're looking at people, you can see we have only people here. So I'm going to choose wizard 2, then say OK. So, how um, this game is going to work, let me show you. First thing, let's say you have a number in your mind. Let's say the number is 20. Okay. But the player who is going to play your game. He or she doesn't know what is this number. Okay, so this number is hidden. So when a number is hidden and you are asking someone, okay, can you please guess my number? So what will happen? So there are three possibilities. Either the player who is playing your game will type a number which is less than 20. Let's say at the first shot, a player is guessing that the number is 10. But remember, your number is 20. Okay? But the player has chosen 10. Okay? So this is one case, the first case. Let me write it down. First case. And a player can choose 10. There is another case, the second case the player might choose 50 so that means a number which is greater than the original number right and third case is that the number is 20 so these are three possibilities either the player who is playing your game will type a number which is less than your number or greater than your number or go to your number right our game will be based on these three cases okay so let's see how we can do this so initially uh, we want to start the game so we need when flag is clicked um, my internet connection is kind of slow uh, let's reconnect Sometimes I have problems with this. Alright, that should be okay. Let's try to reload. Yeah, the things were not saved. Sorry about that. So let's get uh, the character quickly. Alright, so initially what we want is to move <coughs> our sprite in the middle. So when you want to move in the middle, remember you need um, 
a block which is says zero zero. So if I have zero zero so if I click flag, see it's removed in the middle, right? So now remember when you start the game this is you okay wizard 2 that's you and someone is going to play the game right so you that means wizard 2 will be asking a question so asking a question is where I have to go to sensing and I'm going to ask uh, what guess my or I can say please guess my number please guess my number okay okay I think having some problem let's uh, let's fix this problem just a second sorry about the problem so let's um, get us started again so remember when you start the game you want to ask a question right that Please guess my number. Please guess my number. Right, and I'm gonna use forever loop. So you're saying, um, ask what? Please guess my number and wait. So let's see what happens. You're saying, please guess my number, and it gives you a box where you can type the number right so these are the three cases remember so you can start typing on number all right next uh, very important thing to remember whatever you type here it becomes answer right so I'm gonna choose that answer so this is block that is receiving whatever you type in this box okay and we're going to work with this. I'm going to choose three of them for now. And let's uh, remember that um, we have three cases first case, second case, and third case. Okay? So we're going to check what happens. So first, we're going to check equal. Then we'll say less than then you will check greater than so I'm gonna check if the answer is equal to my number then I'm gonna check if answer is equal to less than my number in the third case I'm gonna choose what less than okay so these are the three cases so if I look at the list again so first case less than let's organize them so first case is less than second case is greater than the third case is equal so I'm going to check what if answer is less than my number right so we need if so first case is what if answer is equal what less than my number remember we still haven't chosen our number so in this case let's choose uh, 21 so 21 is the number that is in your mind and you want the player to find this number 21 okay so this is our first case so if answer is less than 21 what do you want to do so we want to give the player a hint that okay you have typed something wrong okay so under looks we're gonna say something so remember he typed first case is what the pair is going to type a number less than 21 so you're gonna give a small hint that's saying bigger so if the player says okay it's saying bigger that means the player needs to type a number greater than whatever he typed let's see Let's start the game. 
please guess my number so remember I'm gonna so to check this condition I mean if answer is less than 21 so I'm gonna type a number which is less than 21 so let's choose 15 okay so if I choose 15 let's see what happens so it's giving me a hint saying bigger that means I type a number which is less than my favorite number okay so this is the first case second case is what let's look at that again I'm gonna choose that I mean the player is going to choose a number bigger than this number 21 yes okay, so well this is our second case so if answer is what greater than 21 you will give the player another hint can you guess what will be the hint Correct. So this time you're going to give the current hint saying smaller. Okay. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to type 100. So if I type 100, it's giving me a hint saying that smaller, you need to choose a smaller number. Right. And finally, we have this. This time the prayer is going to be correct. So I'm going to say if the number is equal to 21, if it is equal to 21, that means the player has found the number, right? So what I'm going to say, I'm going to say winner, winner, bingo. Okay, so that's the main purpose of the game. So let's see what happens. I'm going to start the game. I am first, I'm going to choose 15. If I write 15, it's saying bigger. Okay, now I'm gonna type, let's say 25. And now it's telling me smaller. Then I'm gonna type 22. Then saying smaller, so I know that uh, it could be 21. And if I type 21, say you are winner. Okay, that's the purpose of this small game. And now I'm going to add an additional feature here. I'm going to add score. If you don't know what is score or how to change score, I suggest you to look at um, lecture 7 where I discussed um, what is how we can add a score. So to add a score, I need to go to data and type the name score. If I write score, I have four options. Okay, set a score to zero, change the score. If I double click on score zero, I just get the score, not the word. Okay, so initially um, I want to set the score five. Why I'm choosing five? Because I want to give the player five chances to find the correct number, which is 21. So every time the player types a wrong number the score will keep decreasing okay so how do I do that so initially you said uh, set a score to 5 so if I start I can see that score is 5 so when the score should decrease every time you type something less than 21 or every time you type something greater than 21 so these are the two cases where the score will be decreasing right so I'm going to use this block change score by 1 instead of 1 I'm going to say negative 1 because if you say 1 it will increase but remember we are decreasing okay so every time you type an answer less than 21 it will say bigger it will give you a hint and then also the score will be changed by negative one okay so let's see if it's working so remember we just wrote the code for the first case not for the second or third case yet okay so let's try 15 so now it's saying bigger and then you can see the score change to four okay now 
for the second case I'm gonna use the same block because if you type a number which is bigger than 21 that means what you want to do same thing you want to decrease the score right so let's stop this game and start again so 5 if I type 15 I'm getting a hint that bigger and my score has decreased by 1 now if I type 50 smaller right and I can see that now the score is 3 so it will keep decreasing so you want to check another thing when the score becomes 0 you want to say you have lost okay so let's see how we can do that so when flag is clicked and you want to check what you want to check the score if your score is equal to 0 right so this block if your score is equal 0 remember what we need we need forever block First we need if block and then forever block, right? And then you want to say what? You have lost, or you can just say um, game over. Okay, so now let's see if our game is working or not. So I'm going to choose some wrong values, so 15, again 15, and then I'm going to choose 30, see the score is decreasing, and I'm going to choose 75, and then I'm going to choose 45. Now that I can see that the score is zero and I it's saying game over. Okay. There's one more thing you can add when it says game over. You can use another block which says stop all. So that means uh, everything will be stopped. Okay. See? Everything will be stopped. So this is our game um, case my number. So I want you to write this code by yourself first, um, listen to the lecture carefully, see if you understand everything and if you have any question, let me know and then try to write this code by yourself. Alright, good luck everyone and I will see you next time. Bye.